Good day everyone. Our discussion is the vision of the results. We have here the steps in dividing the results. We have first divide the dividend to the device. So we have what is 948 divided by 5. We just need to divide the dividend, which is this is the dividend, divided by 5, which is that is the device. And we have 9, 1, 5, 4, 4. This is 8, 40, 48, that is a 9, and that is 45. Then we have another 3, and there's a second step. If there is a still digit to divide, a decimal point and 0 and continue dividing. So if you're going to add a decimal point here on at the bottom of the number, and then add zero. It doesn't change the value. It's still 940. So that we can continue and we will not write remainder 3. We, add, we put the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So if we add decimal point here, we also need to add decimal point on top of the quotient. Then we bring down zero here. Then we can now still divide 30 divided by 5, which is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30, no more remainder. Then our answer is 189.6. Now add zeros to the dividend and continue dividing until there will be no remainder, just like this one. Next is dividing decimals to whole numbers. Here are the steps. So if we have here 823.2 divided by 3. Let's go here first. So to divide mixed decimals with whole numbers, place the decimal point directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So we put the decimal point here on top of the decimal point in the dividend. Then divide just like dividing whole numbers. So let's divide now. So we have 2, 6, this is 2, that is 8, 7, this is 21, 1, 13, this is 4, we have 12, 1, and we have 2, that is 4. Then multiply, no more remainder. Therefore, our answer is 274.4. Now, if there is still a digit here and there's a remainder that you need to add more zeros here and then you go back to dividing again, multiplying again and, until there will be no remainder. Next, what if the given example or the given question is 135 divided by 0.4? So we have steps in dividing whole numbers to decimal numbers. So first, to divide the whole numbers by decimal numbers, change the divisor to a whole number by moving the decimal point in the dividend to as many places as the decimal point in the divisor. We have 135 divided by 0 0.4. We need to move this decimal point here to make it a whole number to move one place. That is already for us all a whole number. And since we move one place here in the divisor, we need also to move one place here to the dividend so that it will not change the value. And to find for the decimal point of this 135, it is at the end of the last digit. And we add zero, but that's still 135. It doesn't change the value. Then we move one place since we move here. Our new value now is 1,350 divided by 4. Then divide just like dividing whole numbers. Then add zeros to the dividend when needed until there will be no remainder. So let's divide this. We have 3, this is 12, 1, 15, that is 3, 12, this is 3, and then 0. We have here 7, 28, there's a remainder 2. Then Here's our decimal point at the end of the zero. We may add another zero here so that we can bring it out. And don't forget that to put the decimal point above the decimal point of the dividend, so we have 20 divided 4, which is 5. Then multiply 
approximately subtract them. There will there is no remainder now. Our answer is three hundred thirty-seven point five. This would be what if the given uh, numbers are both decimal numbers? Here are the steps in dividing decimal numbers. We have six hundred two point five divided by zero point twenty five. Here are the steps. The first step is change the divisor to a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right as many places needed to make it a whole number. So as you can see here, this is 0 0.25. To make it a whole number, we need to move two places to the right. And our new value is 25. Then since we move two places here to make it a whole number, we need also to move two places in the dividend from the decimal point. And the decimal point here is given. So from here, we need to move two places. Here's the empty place, empty place value. Then we need to add zero. And our decimal point here is at the end of zero. So our new value now is 60,250. We can now divide. Now, so as not to affect the value of the quotient, also move the decimal point in the dividend as many places it move in the divisor. So that's what we did here. Now, divide it as in whole numbers, so we have 2, and this is 50, this is 10, bring down 2, we have 4, this is 100, we have 2, then bring down 5, this is 25, divide 25, that's 1, and 25, okay, then the, don't forget there's still another 0 here, you need to bring down, and you need to divide again, multiply, and subtract, there's no remainder, our answer now is, 2,410 and put the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend which is our decimal here at the end so we may not put it anymore since we don't have any decimal number. So our answer is 2,410. Next would be dividing decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000 and so on. So to divide decimals or mix decimals by these numbers, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so on, just move the decimal point of the dividend to the left depending on the number of zeros of the divisor. So this time, we are not going to manually divide if the divisor is 100 or 10 or 1,000 and so on. All we need is to move the decimal point of the dividend, which is 45.87 is our dividend here. We move to the left depending on the number of zeros in our divisor. So we have two zeros, we have one, two. So we move also two places to the left. And our answer now, here's our de decimal point, And our answer is 0 0.4588. Seven. And what if our divisor is 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001? So, to divide decimals or mix decimals by 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, just move the decimal point of the dividend to the right, depending on the number of digits after the decimal point in the divisor. So, we have here 94.5. We don't need to manually divide it with um, 0 0.01. If this is our divisor, all we need is to move the decimal point of the dividend, just the 94.5, going to the right, depending on the number of places or digits after the decimal point. So we have 1, 2, then from here, we move two places to the right, 1, 2, and put 0 to the empty place value, and our answer is 9,450. Now, if we divide point 0.1, then we move only one place. And then from here, from the decimal point of the dividend, we also need to move one place, and so on. Let's have this example. What is the quotient of 0.39 and 0 0.3? Remember that when you say quotient, that's the answer in division. So, we are going to divide 0 0.39, which is our dividend, divided by 0 0.3. Now, remember that you cannot divide if the divisor is a decimal number. You can only divide if it is a whole number. So to make this a whole number, we move one place to make it a whole. And since we move one place here, we also need to move one place here. So from 0 0.339, our new value is 3.9. Then we can now divide. 
So we have, and then don't forget to put the decimal point on above the decimal point of the dividend. So we have three, zero, and break down nine. Nine divided by three is three. Then the nine, no more remainder, then our answer is 1.3. Next, what is 645 divided by 0 0.06? We have our divisor, it's a, it's a decimal number. Then we need to change it to the whole number by moving two places to make it a whole number. We have 6. And our decimal point, let's locate the decimal point of 645, which is at the end. Then we move two places also, 1, 2. Okay, so our value of the dividend is 64,500. Then our decimal point here is at the end. So we divide 6. 0, then we have 4, divide 6, it's still 0, so 0, this is 45, this is um, 6, 7, 7, that is 42, this is 3, then we have 0, we have 5, this is 13, no more remainder, then there's another 0, we may add that one here, then our answer is 10,750. If you want to check if your answer is correct, you may just multiply this quotient, 10,750, to 0 0.06. Be, you will get 645. You may try these examples and solve it on your own. And let's see if your answer is correct. We have for what is 32.8 divided by 8. The answer is 4.1. And the value of n in the equation 1.58 divided by 0.4 equals n. The answer is 2.5.